Hello, everybody. Welcome to Food Boy. I am Food. And I am Boy. So Food Boy is a 2008 film about a high school student who gets superpowers, but the superpower, it's food. I would love to have that power. Yeah, honestly, that could be worse. You could have a lot better things like spawning toilets with your hands. So does this have like any reviews at all? HTTP colon four slash four slash S-T-A-G. It sucks. One star. This movie is so bad. It makes me never want to eat food again. Only water. All right, before we start, guys, make sure to subscribe. And hit the lick button to join the lick squad. Who wakes up at exactly 8.07? I do. Why? Because it's right before 8.08. Quiet! Guys, we, we can't do commentary here. Dang it. God, shoot. Shh. Quiet. Sorry, Mr. Lund. Foy! Yeah, sound effects. It sounds like they hit the door with a hammer. Welcome back to... Can I hit this with a hammer? That's okay! Not like this class starts at the same time every day. <sighs> oh. I hit this very closable water bottle that he has, and he just happens to, like, set it down right in front of the bully so he can knock it over. He just always has a football with him? It's not a football. There's tape on it. What is it, then? It's a sport ball. Can I go to the bathroom, Mr. Lund? Looks like you already did. Take the hall pass, please. He has, like, the quietest room known to man and just uses a megaphone because, yeah. Take the hall pass, please. What is even in that? Raisins, yogurt, uh, Sunny D, and like hair or something. I don't know. It's just like an old person's breakfast. It isn't that bad. Yeah, you know how they eat hair? Someone's got to stand up to Garrett. <laughs> this is the list of the Elite 100. They, they all are president of something. I've never been president of anything, ever. So even though Ezra like has good grades and he's a pretty well accomplished student, he still wants to run for class president because he doesn't think he's cool enough. Yeah, you know how that makes you cool? Like you walk up to a girl in a bar, you're like, hey baby. I used to be my high school class president. You want to be the first lady? What? I'll show you my student body. Stop. They're French cut frozen green beans and carrots. I steamed them, seasoned them, and then I froze them. Why are they just eating frozen vegetables like out of the bag? Let me get this straight. You took them out of the freezer, steamed, steamed them, them, seasoned, seasoned them, them, and then put them back in the freezer. To preserve them so they don't go bad. When you boil water and you need it for later, just freeze it. People know who I am, right? Surely they vote for me over Justine or Garrett. Actually, she is the best looking girl in our class. She's the hottest girl in school, and he sucks. Coming this fall, movie. Uh, I would like to announce that I am running for junior class president. Come by my lunch table during lunch. Hey, why don't you come by my lunch table during lunch? We can have lunch. Yeah, let's have lunch together for lunch. Don't eat dinner. Maybe you should lay off the sanitizer. It's just basic hygiene. No cleanliness. Hand sanitizers for dummies. Yeah, guys, you're not cool if you don't wipe your butt with your hands like me. Hey, ladies, I'm single. <laughs> He's going to drink this entire gallon of milk in less than three minutes. I'm okay. Oh. Why did you wipe up the vomit with a rag and then just like wring it out? Also, are we going to acknowledge the fact that Ezra is just vomiting to get votes right now? He's got my vote. Any president who can drink milk. So like most presidents. Alexander Jeffington was lactose intolerant. Checkmate, Democrats. My fellow students, do we really want another year? No, we don't want any more years. Get out of here. No, from now on, we just end time. If you vote for me... I've got a really good chance, Dad. You know, uh, your mom would have supported this. You know, you gotta have those dead parents because you're in a 2000s movie. They're either dead or divorced. No, see, they both died and then they got divorced. Yeah, I think all parents in the 2000s just like died and went on to a realm where they could divorce each other forever. <laughs> Be quiet or I'll yell at you even more! If you are not quiet, I will be loud at you! Hey, Ezra, do you have any food left? No, sorry, I don't. Seriously, anything. <laughs> I'm starving. This acting in this entire movie is like, is that food in your pocket? Or are you happy to uh, see, see me? It's food! <laughs> I've served as your class president for several years in a row now. I know how this job works. So I ask for your vote tomorrow. Tip you high school football rules! I know how the school works. You come to class and uh, you, uh, you- San Dimas ball rules, mic drop! A class president must be a person, my opponent. So Ezra has food spontaneously coming out of his hands now. And now that we're in the debate, he's gonna just throw hams at his opponent. You okay, 
okay in there, Ezra? Fine, uh, I'll be out in a minute. Oh, wait, is this the Bible story where they just multiply the bread? Yeah, Food Boy is like biblical canon now. <laughs> Not now! Does this involve food exploding out of your hands? Why would that very specific thing be what you ask? Like, you get home from school, you run to your room, close and lock the door, and your mom just immediately asks you, is it because food came out of your hands? Open the door, please. Penny 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 Clean yourself up and we'll talk. What is this organ? Is like a gospel preacher gonna tell me about the food trinity? Don't eat gluten or they'll send you to hell. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's what gluttony is. The sin of gluttony is when you have too much gluten. Glut 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 uh glut glut um Mr. Lund disqualified me from the election and suspended me for two days. This is going to destroy my college application. So wait a second. He could solve world hunger, but he just whines about it the whole time. Yeah, you can literally have like any food he wants. And he's like, no, no, I want to I want to go to college. Let's start with the first food group. Beans. No, we can't escape. No, <laughs> dang it. You can only do this for so long until you pass out. So be careful. I'm not supposed to show you any of this for two more days. Days, but we broke so many rules yesterday. Wait a second, what's gonna happen if she breaks this rules? Who's enforcing them? The food god from earlier is gonna come down and smite her. August Corpus, around 4000 BC. He introduced cooked meat to his tribe. <laughs> Agus Corpus? They did not speak Latin in 4000 BC. Also, there weren't cavemen in 4000 BC. Sure there were, I'm sure somebody lived in a cave. Tony Stark was a cave! Hashepsut went down in history for being the first woman to take the title of Pharaoh. She she was the first to serve beans and rice on the same plate. Oh, hey, guys, she made the first burrito bowl. I'm glad the ancient Egyptians invented burritos just so some girl named, like, Kylie could ruin my food. Burritos were these Egyptian slaves, and uh, Burrito Moses uh, led his burrito army out of Egypt, and he had to pass through the Red Salsa Sea. It's really quite simple. If you count the right in votes, Ezra won, and if not, Garrett won. I guess I'll go get him. Why does she have like 12 fish? And there's not even fish in the bowls? There's fish in some of the bowls, but not all of them. What happened to the fish? They died. I wish I was dying. I'll introduce the football team. Justine can introduce the cheerleaders. Wait, what about me? I don't know. Maybe you could just stand in the background and wash your hands. Wait, do normal people in normal public high schools just carry footballs everywhere they go? Yes, they actually do. That'd be like me carrying around this Sony FS5 everywhere I go for no reason. Gotta let everyone know about your single person personality trait attributed to a hobby that won't make any money. Now, the more people he told, the less flavor there was in his suit. Aren't you supposed to be reading to those kids right now? Oh, I'm late. Uh, stop with the I'm late trope. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you supposed to be late for class? Marty, don't use that amp or it'll explode. Oh my god, I'm early for class. What am I gonna do? That's the power of the... So that you finish the book, Ezra's boring. You know what? Who would like to see a magic trick? How about a magic trick? I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. What, is he just gonna slam a kid's head into a pencil? Ta-da! It's gone. Cheer for the football team. What is this, a Washington football team rally? Like, let's hear it for football. I told you this year was going to be different than all the other years. So I guess as I was just trying to pretend that his superpower is like a magic trick that he's doing, even though the power is really gross and weird. I know I say this in like every video, but like Marvel did it better. Yeah, when Batman spawned food out of his hands and he pretended it was a magic trick, Marvel executed that so much better. It's not a batarang, it's a banana. Oh my God, didn't you know that Batman's actually a DC character? What are you talking about? Like party at my house tomorrow. You should come. So, how was cross country meet? I lost my number. Could I have yours? Uh, I lost my credit card. Can I have yours? I lost my entire social security card. Can I have yours? I lost my house. I lost my skin. Sleeping this party. It's great. I like the outlet just peeking over their shoulder. It doesn't even look like it's filmed in the same room as the rest of the party scene. Also, what is so attractive about him now? Like, hey girl, I can uh, make cilantro. Uh, wanna come back to my place? I can make salsa.
with the guitar. You look like like that guy on that on that food show. Uh, let's see what you got. Dream came true. Oh my God, he made cocaine. Wait, if you think about it, he could probably make any edible drug that he wanted to. By that logic, he could kind of just make actually anything. Yeah, like drywall technically is edible. So are airplanes. So he could just make airplanes with his hands. He could just be like, airplane, airplane. Ezra is going to cook up a feast on a quest here today. No, not the e-cape. New merch item, it's just a cape. Chocolate chip cookies. Mm, what do you think, Ezra? I can do that. This trick is so stupid because he could just pull it out of the hat, which is exactly what he did. Yeah, it would have been so much more impressive if they didn't cover up the magic trick. So we forgot to put it in the script, but Ezra basically messes up like a lot at the talent show and like sprays everyone with crap and, it, and it's gross. So this is context. Okay, uh, bye. Oh, wow. He's going to wake up at a normal time now, I guess. Also, that Rubik's Cube is twisted on one side and it makes you want to murder him. So how did you do that? I thought about it all last night and I have no idea how you did those tricks. What even is the architecture of this building? You just get to stand like two feet lower over here. Yeah, they were just like, let's make stairs. Guys, the reason Josiah shorter is because they built his floor lower. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that whole thing. I, I didn't. You know what, Ezra? You've been acting really weird this year. I saw you at Justine's last week. Yeah, except you were there too. Yeah, how dare you go to a party? Maybe this would hold weight if the party scene wasn't just a bunch of awkward pauses and nothing else. I remember nothing from that scene but the outlet. I know he's scary looking, but could you try to control your bladder this time? Leave her alone, man. Uh, leave her alone, man. What? Leave her, I hardly know. <laughs> I said leave her alone, man. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to leave her alone once and for all. Ah! <laughs> Guys, let's all let it go. You're right, Dylan. No one cares about him anyway. <laughs> he sat down. Oh, God. <laughs> what was that? Um, food? Very funny. Food boy. Oh, they said the name of the movie. Oh, good. They're all throwing around the messiest thing ever. Yeah, I'm glad their lunch today was like potatoes. You know what he could have made instead? Ice. Ice. But that would have melted. Yeah, then it would have overflowed out of the bag. <laughs> you know they're going to blame this whole mess on you. I can handle it. Okay, so basically Ezra and the whole gang are like making up now and there's not really any repercussions at all and nothing bad happens in this movie at all. That's the entire movie. It basically just ends there and then they like kiss or something. Anyways, uh, make sure to follow us on Twitter to keep up with us. Yeah, and you can even join our Discord to talk to us or maybe not. Ah, the day. What's up, guys? Today we're going to be sitting at the kitchen table.